Hey, Kevin. Looks like you've got a check mark there. <laughs> Perfect help, yes. Uh, been having a discussion with a gentleman on Facebook, and he's welding up some awning uh, framework to put awnings up with, and he's got this big, sharp angle. Now, you didn't tell me exactly what angle it was, so I'm kind of guessing here. But his problem is, he can weld out here real nice and easy, but he's trying to get his TIG torch to get down inside there. And the way he, you know, what he showed me, it was probably a little more angled than this even, and he just can't get down in there. So really, there's several ways you could cheat on this, to try to get down into an angle where you normally can't reach. So one of the things you can do is just go ahead and pull your tungsten out just a little bit farther and up the flow rate a little bit on your regulator. Get a little more gas flow going on over there. So when you get down in there, you're dumping a little more gas because you got just a little bit farther to go so you can get a little better coverage. Another thing you can do is go ahead and get this number seven cup off and put a number five on it or even a four if you've got one. You see the difference in the size of the cups, the openings. This is the five, this is the seven. Look at the difference in the size of those. So this number five will let you get farther down in that, in that joint you're trying to make, down into that, that tight corner. A better way than this even is, let's go ahead and get the big cup off, you know, the big long cup off of there. We'll get the collet and the tungsten out of it. And we'll go ahead and pop this this little ring off and put the flat one on there. And then we'll go ahead and put this little stubby stubby gas lens in there. Put the cup on the right way, I know. because that just helps make things a little bit smaller still. And with the gas lens on here, that helps shrink things up even farther. And it just gives you a little better angle to work with. It helps shrink things up a little to get down inside that joint. You had a, a good way to do it. You had a better way to do it. Now I'll show you the best way to do it. And this is a micro torch from the folks over at CK. Little difference in size. That looks good for dental work. Yeah, this is about what you use for dental work, really. So this has no problem at all getting down to some tight little joint somewhere. Now this is a gas cool, so it's good up to about 70 amps. Or you can get the water cool, which is good up to uh, like 120, 130, something like that. You know, so you can really push some power through it. Really, really saves your butt when you want to get down to some tight little place. So let me hook it up real quick, and we'll just light it up, and I'll just weld that little joint for you. So this is the micro torch. Got it set at uh, about 90 amps max. Going to use a foot pedal because I don't have a, a finger control on this. And this is the Everlast uh, Power T 255 EXT. So let me just run that quick, run that bead in there. So that gives you several different options how to get down into the tight joint like that. You know, one other thing I thought of while I was sitting here welding was, well, if you're using your regular torch, you can always take a little piece of scrap and make a little dam. You know, to block off one end of it while you're working up inside there to keep the air from blowing through, help keep your argon down in there. You know, you can dam it on one end or the other. You know, you just got to play with it. Got to figure out how to do it. Start with your scrap then figure it out, then come over and work on your piece. How's the weld? Well, I think it's okay. Still kind of hot. I'm not going to play with it, though. So I hope that points you in the right direction. And if you guys want to go down there and hit that button for me, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all next week. All right. One of the things you can do is just 